what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel thank you guys so much for stopping by listen guys i'm tired i wasn't gonna make a video today i wasn't this might go out maybe a couple hours later as i post it i don't know listen i wasn't gonna make a video about this because clearly don't give a fuck but there is a specific sh a specific shoe coming out called Air Jordan One Trophy the Trophy Room. Um, first of all, I don't know who needs to hear this, but um, y'all not getting the fucking shoe, bro. Like, I don't know who needs to hear the. I don't know who needs to hear this. I don't want this shit because I don't give a fuck. Okay. I don't care because I'm not expecting to sell them shit. Them shit's going on StockX. Them shit's going for like two thousand dollars. I'm going for two thousand dollars, and niggas think it's about to, they trying to get their comeuppance. And then when the year is all over, after we go through all twelve months of 2021, they're gonna say that that shoe, the Air Jordan One Trophy Room, is the best shoe of the year. And what I have to say is, uh, <clears throat> bullshit. There is 23, 2300, 23, so it's a limited pairs. It's a limited, num it's a limited amount of pairs. Nigga, you're not getting a pair, bro. You're not getting a pair. I don't know who needs to hear this. See, I, I, dude, I get GRs. I get sneakers that I can go out. Maybe do a raffle, go to a Foot Locker, buy them shits. I gotta go to Foot. I gotta do a raffle on a website and hope for the best. I get picked. I'm okay. I'm absolutely fine. I'm not gonna put a raffle in. I'm not gonna do that because it's a waste of my waste of my time. Because I know I ain't getting them shits. It's like doing a raffle for fucking Yeezys for me. In my opinion, I can't get them shits at all. I get. Nike Serenary. I get a couple of Jordans. All the Jordans I paid for. I don't get I don't get sneakers early. I don't know. It, that don't seem kind of I guess in content creations creators you gotta keep the fans happy and what to see next. But I don't really like getting shit early. It makes me why I like getting shit early. I don't like getting shit early because I like the feeling of waking up on release day, 10 o'clock, on my phone. Or if I get picked or do a raffle on Foot Locker or Flex App, whatever, and me going way to the Pacific store and grabbing my pair and celebrating and doing an unboxing for you guys on this channel. Now, some shoes, don't get, don't get me wrong, some shoes I wouldn't mind having early. Some shoes I just wouldn't mind having on release date, but I would prefer release date than getting them shits early. Because number one, if you get them shits early, you never know what them shits are. Them shits should be, them shits could be some uh, G-Fakos. Shits could be mad fake. And then you unboxing them, Johns, and be, and they can be in a box. They can be in a single box. Anybody can make a fucking Nike box, a Jordan One box. And be like, oh, what are these ones? And review them. No, I'm gonna wait till them shits drop on the day it was supposed to drop, unless it get pushed back, and then that's it. Other than that, I ain't. I'm not. Okay. Then. And then you got people who got pairs already, number one. They got pairs already, and they don't come with blue laces, number two. And then their Jordan box, either A, says retail suggests of 170, and then there's a retail suggests of 190. First of all, the fact that you got them earlier is kind of stupid because it's a limited shoe. Plus, this is a 
hot. This is the trending topic in the sneaker world, which was that in the defective Air Jordan 6 Carmine, which we'll possibly get to in a, another another video in like a couple of days or something. I might, I'm either way, I'm gonna say this I'm gonna still go to Carmine's. Carmine's people waited years for the Carmine's. Do you think a little defectiveness is going to stop the Carmine's from being sold or being sold out? Hell no, absolutely fucking no. So if you thought that, you may need to use your brain a little bit more. But as far as these trophy room goes, I'm not paying. I'm not using. I'm not doing the. What is that? The raffle for them? Cause there's no point. Cause I know I ain't getting them shits, and I'm not paying resale. So at the end of the day, I don't think them shits is worth it. Now, for a reseller standpoint, it is worth it because people are trying to find their, like I said, their comeuppance. That's about it. But let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about those Air Jordan 1 trophy room. Do you believe, not more so believe, but do you think everything that level, everything people be talking about about this shoe is... A little bit too nuts. Are there? Are these people nuts for damn near paying two thousand for a shoe that are missing key components like extra laces or whatever? <sighs> Let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, I have been Cobra. I catch you next one. Peace.